All right, we're back. So, uh, looks like a go for one. So I believe that he allowed what go for to go first. Ah, uh, I don't know about allowing your opponent to go for. I mean, with the whole new. Oh no no no. Uh, say this is decide to go first. All right, that's good. See, because uh, with the whole new uh, ruling about going first, uh, not really sure how I feel about that. Because it's kind of like, well, I want to get my extra draw. That's fine and dandy, you know. But when siding, you know, you just side your cards. You want to get to your side before your opponent. So allowing your opponent to go first means that they have a higher chance of getting their side and getting set up before you do. So it's actually kind of dangerous. So I guess he 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 excavated one of his uh one of his sylvans that allows him to what put it in any order. I believe that's the one. So he decided to grab the miracle fertilizer. Hopefully this guy won't cheat like the one guy in uh, Nationals. He was like, oh, I didn't I didn't know I didn't know. Yeah, he he admitted to cheating. If you didn't watch a Mega Capital G's video about the guy who when he uh, synchro summoned. Uh, with the monster that some of Miracle Fertilizer, he left it on the field. He did it a couple of times and got to top 32 because of that. He, he he blatantly cheated and he even admitted to it. He's like, oh, people are just ignorant. They didn't know anything about Miracle Fertilizer. You know, but then in the post on Facebook, he's like, oh, well, it's, player, it's both players' responsibility to keep the game state. And I didn't, I didn't know. I, didn't, I don't, yeah, but he admitted to it in the deck profile. So blatantly cheated because if, you know, it says right here in the last sentence, it's a monster special summoned by uh, the effect. This effect leaves the field to destroy this card. Obviously, synchro summoning with the monster is leaving the field, but he let, he decided to leave it on the field, and you know he didn't, you know his opponent didn't know, and he was just playing dumb, so he he pretty much cheated. Got to top 32 with the deck too. And just like good old-fashioned hat sets a lot of freaking back row. That's when I when I duel against Hat, oh my god, you know I'm I'm getting them Royal Decrees in, you know I'm getting them Mellow Catastrophes in. I'm gonna wipe that back row because that, that that deck is so back row reliant, it's not even funny. Okay. All right, Miracle Fertilizer. Yep, and there it is, Deep Dark Trap Hole. That, yeah, see, see, he didn't cheat with Miracle Fertilizer like the other guy, but yeah, that's the new card that they're signing in for uh, Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmares, Deep Dark Trap Hole. Huh? I can see it uh, being, oh, blind spacing. Huh? Nice hit with Blackhorn. Eh, it's okay, it's an okay hit. I wouldn't say it's like a good, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's a good side, because they don't always go into Thirxies. But, you know, it doesn't hurt too bad. As you can clearly see, lot, lots of, lots of, lots of back row from, uh, from, uh, the hat player, of course, because they got, they, they got to back row it. So, that's how I, that's how I always beat hat. I sided them, the more of catastrophes, them royal decrees, and, uh, it just get it in. Oh, and Soul Charge, God Charge, Troll Charge, this, the names go on and on and on and on and on. You know, I cited them love and test you some Royal Decrees, and then they just look stupid, because I'm just like, yay, damn, 4,000 life points. And the Torrental Tribute, wow, wow. And the hat guy, he just has the answers. The best answer he could have had. Parental tribute. Alright, and so and guy has only a thousand life points left. He's gonna use the filth spot effect during the end phase. Go ahead and excavate and get back his Sylvan charity. Quite, uh, gonna go ahead and activate the Sylvan Charity. You know, people were complaining that Sylvan should get hit, but the Sylvan, Sylvans aren't that good, though. That's the problem. You know, once we take Soul Charge away from them, they are, they're pretty much baked, you know. And I'd, 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 rather have Sil I'd rather have Soul Charge hit before Sylvan Charity. Yeah. 
yeah. The, the heck guy, he he just like yeah, he has the Toronto and the deep dark slot background. See, and this is clear one of the reasons why I uh side in the road to create the moments because they think that they got you you so locked down with their background that they'll go ahead and just be like okay well i'll set on my background make sure i have all the answers even if they exiton i have the answer for exiton so oh yeah i'm gonna get that and then they run into my malevolent and they're just like shit and they run lose all that background and without background i'm not sure how they're gonna handle that pleadies It looks like he might be able to do something. He's building up resources. Got ice hand of one face down and one card in hand. So if he kills that ice hand, of course, you know, he would destroy his uh his field spell and then summon fire hand. Because fire and ice hand, that's what they do. They just put on additional pressure. So I'm guessing he's using uh, his uh, Hermitry effect. And then what, when she's, uh, that's greater from the deck, since it's a great red by card effect, you can, uh, carry a level between, uh, one A special on this card, and if you do, it comes that level. Okay. So I guess he's gonna summon it back and make it eight. As long as that's not Blackhorn. Might be able to go into a nice six. Oh, he wants to make it four. Okay. Someone back four. All right. And uh, what we see in our mates? Okay, like our mates. The mates is a pretty good answer for a uh, ice hand, of course. As long as that's not black one on the field. I thought it was four. Oh no, because he lone fire copied the. Uh, I mean, Spore copied Lone Fire and increased its level, so it went up to 4, so 4, 6, 8. My bad. I thought it summoned as 1. Stardust is a fine, too. Um, I believe Stardust can negate during the damage step, so I believe that Stardust can negate um, the Ice Hand's destruction. And I believe that uh, you have to uh, negate to... Uh, I mean, you have to destroy the summon, so... He's going to go ahead and take that damage to the chin. Alright, he allowed it. So, of course, Ice Hand will summon Fire Hand. Still pulling on additional pressure by, uh, you know, white points really don't mean much right now. He's got he's got the white points, but he needs to get that advantage. So he's going to crash another Ice Hand into Stardust. Now he's thinking. So what are you going to do? He's going to lance the monster. Okay, well then he'll just destroy your filled spell. Okay, so that's during the damage step. He's going to lance him. So he goes down by, what, 800? Dropping him down to, what, 600? So 600 crashes into 1900? I could have just added the 800 to the 11 he took last time, but I had to make math all complicated and shit. Now he may be taking some life point damage, but the resources that he's getting from just putting the additional pressure on the f with the fire and ice hand is definitely just powerful. So no negates from Stardust yet. Crash the fire hand into Stardust. And she'll be taking 900 points of damage. You don't need Stardust. I believe Stars can negate during the damage step. When it comes in negating, I believe. Oh, well, I guess not. And the, and the hands are just putting on the pressure. Like usual, hands are just... And it's over. It's over. Well, I'm guessing Stardust can't negate during the damage step? I'd have to look that up. I'd have to look that up. 
Yeah, let me go look that up. Okay, so I found it here, and it says, uh, yes, Stardust can negate the effects of, you know, Fire and Ice Hand during the damage tab. They have to destroy two, uh, you know, summon, so they didn't get destroyed, so they did not get the summon. So, I don't know. I, I guess he just said, thought that, you know, it was just too much pressure from the Fire and Ice Hands, or maybe he just didn't know. Alright, so that was another episode of the Endo Commentary, so I hope you guys learned anything from uh, these two episodes. If not, then fine, but, uh... Finally, I at least got them done, so hopefully next the end of commentary people will get higher ratings so we'll get better duels and of course uh, Maybe uh, hopefully get another guest commentator to join me. So uh, Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time with some more the commentary. Thanks for watching